Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. It's another purse sale Friday. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and today we're gonna sell some purses. So in addition to my thrifted purses, I actually just had FedEx come a couple minutes before I started recording this video and they dropped off my worn not wasted mystery jewelry, mystery purse box. So I'm excited that it came just in the nick of time, so that will be at the end of the video. In the meantime, let's go over the housekeeping. So if you're interested in purchasing anything you see in the video, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is always down in the description box. Um, please give me a timestamp and a brief description of what you're looking to purchase. Um, if you're new, welcome, and please include your PayPal email and mailing address in your email. Um, I also um, will keep a sold list down in the comment section, so if you just scroll up on the video, you'll see all the comments, and at the top, I have it pinned, it'll be the sold list. Um, I, up that, I update that with every sale, so um, as you're watching, I'm probably updating, so just make sure you refresh the page um, before you check the sold list so you have the most up-to-date list. Um, let's see, shipping prices are not included in the prices you hear in the video. That's based on your location and the weight of your items. So I think that about sums it up. So first we always start with the clearance section, which is the um, purses from last week that did not sell and I dropped the price by five or 10, sometimes 15 or $20, and we'll see if they sell this time. So let's see. First up, we have the two wallets that came in my mystery box last week. Um, so the first one we'll go over is the black. It looks like it's for maybe a doctor with um, a little letter A. It's just a little nylon card holder. And I'm just gonna do two bucks if anybody's interested in this. And then the other wallet was the uh, Thames or Tims. I don't know what this is, but it's the um, it's not real leather. It's got the money print all over it. It seems like it's brand new. Um, it has all the little cards still in it, so you can put your cards here, 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 <laughs> and two slots for the cash. And I'm going to drop this one to $5 if anybody is interested in that. Then we had the Mark New York. So this is, um, I, I can't confirm that it's leather because there are no tags confirming that it is. To me, it does feel like it, but I can't confirm. But it is really nice. It is a long crossbody or you can adjust it a little bit looser. Um, I, or a longer shoulder bag. Really cute. These two zippers in the front here make the bag a little larger. You have a drawstring to drawstring it closed if you would like. Mark New York, there's the bottom. It was in very good condition. There was just a couple little spots of darkened, whatever it is, um, but otherwise pretty nice. It is a snap closure. And then the interior, very, very um, slightly, it's not even dirty, I wouldn't even say, I would just say a little bit worn, but nothing major. So this super cute Mark New York, we're gonna drop to $25. Okay, then we had the Banana Republic. This one is leather, and it's got the heavy-duty hardware and the you know little strappy things on the sides. This one was in very good condition as well. There was um, just a little mark there and there, and then you're gonna open it up. The um, handles are really great. Zipper comp zipper compartment, and it does have the uh, magnet that helps it fold down and then your interior. The Banana Republic plaque still has the plastic on it, and those are your slip pockets. So this one we are dropping to $25 as well. 
Next up we have the Cole Haan. This was the super cute, kind of like a little doctor bag almost. It is black leather. There's your Cole Haan plate. Super cute and it has a removable um, crossbody or shoulder strap along with the handles. Very minimal wear, a little bit on the corners, but otherwise really nice. You flip up this little thing here to open. And then you have your blue interior. Okay, and this one we're dropping to $30. Okay, this shirt is a little big for me, so sorry if I'm, I keep picking it up. Um, all right, so next up we have a Jessica Simpson. This is the crossbody bag. It is faux leather. You have the little Jessica Simpson hang tag, and there was a little mark right there next to this, um, the rivet but you have a back pocket. You know, everything, the corners and everything, nothing's peeling. You have the main um, compartment that unsnaps and two pockets. And you have a zipper and a slip in there. And then the top flap opens as well. But it only goes to here, this part. Okay, so that one is the Jessica Simpson and we're dropping it to $15. Next up we have the Monsic Croc Leather Purse. This one came with the um, dust bag and this is genuine leather. It's made in Italy and it's a nice color. It's like a yellowish beige with that like creamy orange color you have the sides that have the branding very 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 nice condition on this one and there's your interior okay there's your zipper and the plate and your slips so super nice bag can take you from the summer right into the fall and we're going to do 35 on it. Next up we have the B. Mikowski. This one was that orangish um, textured leather with the snake print. It's a nice large tote style. You have two functioning pockets here. You have a slip pocket in the back. There was a little mark there, but the corners have very, very, very minor wear. Okay, you have the B. Mikowski plate there. You have the chain details on the handles and very nice condition on the leather handles. It is a snap closure. And the interior has three compartments. So you have your back compartment here <clears throat> excuse me okay then you have <clears throat> there is a little mark down there the center is zippered and then the other side you have all your slips okay nice big bag and we're dropping this one to 35 as well all right next up next up is the margo this, this brand, I love it. I mean, the leather is so buttery, it's ridiculous. Um, this can be adjusted from crossbody to shoulder bag. And you have the pocket here in the front. Okay, no pockets on the back. Super nice condition. Very, very minimal wear. Just very, very little bit on the piping. And zipper closure. And there's your interior, Margot with the zipper and your slips. And we are dropping this one to $30. Okay, now we have, let me bring these guys down. Now we have the Aldo backpack. This is a faux leather. You have the snake print and the quilted front. You have a zipper pocket here.
the back you have the um, adjustable straps super nice condition like new your um, even your pulls are in very good condition and there's your interior with your zipper and slip and more slips there super cute um, purse backpacks are very trendy and we're going to do $25. All right, next up we have the Coach Brown. This is the multi brown C with the pocket in the front here. And you have your hang tag, which is leather and suede on the other side, which is pretty cool. There's some minimal wear on the corners. Suede is always the hardest to like make look clean. <laughs> so um, it is in better condition than the video shows. It's always It always looks worse on camera or in photographs. That's why I hate photographing suede items for eBay. But there's your handle really nice and you have the turn lock closure. And you have the nice interior. There are just a couple little marks down there. Those are shadows, they're red right there. <clears throat> so there's your Creed and your zipper and your slips there. So this one we are going to drop to $40. Then we have the Plantania, which was this super cool leather crossbody and it has all these awesome studs on it this side has none missing but this side has three so there's one in the center one down here and i forget where the other one was but this you can make the side that you know is on against your body yeah i don't can't see where the third one is <clears throat> but this Sorry, one had to get rid of that tickle okay so really nice on the corners like I said there's just three studs missing on the one side and a little bit of wear on the studs you can see like the very center of them but overall this bag is awesome it was already open so it is a zipper closure and there is your name and zipper and nothing on the other side. So this one, we are going to drop to $35. Okay, lastly for the clearance section, I have the Lily Tote, nobody wanted it. I had somebody email me about it and then they disappeared. So I don't know what happened, um, but it is still available and it has the Lily Pulitzer on the tassel one last chance guys and then it's mine so <laughs> so definitely um it's in such good condition so 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 nice if you guys saw my last week's video when i unboxed it i inserted a little clip of me looking up comps and this is a rare pattern it's going for 180 dollars new on ebay um so it's definitely, oh, there's two tassels, sorry. Two tassels. So it's definitely a really cool bag. There's your interior. Super cool. Summer ain't over, okay? Till what, September 21st? So just because kids are going back to school, summer ain't done yet. So <laughs> um, I'm dropping this one to 75, okay? And it's huge, look at it. Love it. We actually have a beach day coming up with, um, you know, my husband and my sister and her husband because um, her husband and my husband are actually best friends. That's actually how I met Kyle. So if you didn't know that, now you do. Um, so it's really cool, you know, when we all go out because we all really get along. You know, that's my sister. Obviously, when we were younger, we didn't get along, but we do now. So yeah. Grab it while you can, otherwise it's coming to the beach with me. <laughs> All right guys, so that concludes the clearance section. Now we are going to do the thrifted purse section and then the worn not wasted mystery purse unboxing. Um, check that sold list 
underneath in the comments before you email. And let's start with a super cute little Juicy Couture. Juicy Couture is back in style, guys. It is back in here. Oh. Oh, I just found a booboo on this that I didn't notice when I was cleaning it. Okay, so I'll show you guys. But here's the Juicy Couture. It's a crossbody. And you have a little pouch in the front here. And then your main compartment with a little zipper. Now, let's, let's do the phone test. Okay, my phone does not fit. It's like... It's it bare it's barely too big, just a hair too big. So this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It will not fit. It will fit this way, but then you can't close it. So just keep that in mind. Um, the sizing on it, and there is a pocket. Nope, I thought there was a pocket in the back. So I just noticed that there's a little bit of of the faux leather missing. So because of that. I had this list, I had this for 25, I will do 20, all right, $20. All right, next we have the, now this one is one I've never heard of. This is Ariel. It is brand new with the tag. It is leather. There's no um, retail price on it, but it's this pretty like beige leather. You have a pocket here. Now I did kind of mess up a little bit on this one. I didn't notice that there were a couple of flaws. Even though it's brand new, there can be flaws. Um, there is a pen mark right here. Um, I am not good at getting pen marks out. You guys have put uh, your recommendations in the comments and nothing works for me. So I don't know what pen is made out of, but it's like the devil, okay? Um, so I, there is a pen mark there. But the, this part okay is okay, and then the bottom has some scratching. See that? So I guess I was blinded by the fact that it was new with tag and I made a boo-boo, but the price will reflect and everything else is fine. Sometimes you just get caught up in the moment. I try not to have that happen to me because it costs you money. So there you go, that's your interior, brand new, but there are the two flaws, and for that I'm only going to ask $20, okay? $20 on the Ariel, Oriel, however you say it. Um, next up we have an Etne Anye, an EA. I've actually been finding quite a few cute styles from this brand. I mean, at first, when I first started finding them, I didn't like the brand, maybe because I was finding like the the older, super vintage ones that weren't really like the nicer quality. But this one I thought was super cute. It is purple and it is leather. Very, very super minimal wear, if any, on the corners. You have a pocket in the back. I showed you the hang tag. And these, par these purses go for a pretty penny new. Um, straps, really nice. You have the buckle closure. And then your interior has three compartments. Let me get my stuffing out. There's your first compartment. There's nothing in it. Oh, well, I'm sorry, there are slips on the side here. The center compartment is zippered. And then the back compartment has your Etne Anye and a zipper compartment. Okay, super cute. Nice longer handles on this one. And we're gonna do $35. All right, we're already flipping the page. <clears throat> this bag I bought, I thought it was so cute. It's not real leather or anything, but I do like to include faux leather. Um, for I know there's a lot of people that like the vegan leather, so I pick them up, not a problem. And I thought this one was so cute, look at it! So, this is a crossbody or again a longer shoulder bag. You can adjust it shorter, 
and you have a really cute wooden handle. And this is like, um, I, would, I would say it's a beige. It's a beige, kind of like a stone beige. Okay, and um, on the back, oh, and the strap is removable. So if you just want it to be like super cute and just hold it by this, you can take off the handle, I mean the strap. You have a back zippered pocket. You have the main compartment. Oh, and the brand, I, that should probably be, uh, probably be helpful. It is called Antique, what is it called again? Antique Craft. Okay, and there's your zipper and your slip on that side. Really super nice condition on this one. I don't know if, you know, whoever used it, they took really good care of it. I love it, it's super cute. And we're gonna do $24. Next up we have a fossil. We have a little fossil satchel. How cute is this? There's your fossil logo. It is like a gold metallic leather. It is very soft. You have the removable um, shoulder or crossbody strap along with the handles. The back has a little pocket. The bottom and corners, see the corners have a little bit of dirtiness, but I did wipe everything down, but notice there are a couple little spots. But super cute. Nice size, zipper closure. And there's your interior fossil with your zip and slips and a big slip there. So this one, great color for the fall and we are gonna do $48. Okay, now I think we're going down here next. This is the Betsy Johnson. This is also, this is more like a little duffel. Little duffel bag, you have the, it's all faux leather. You have the studs, the cheetah, the floral, you have little hearts up here. The back is black with the plate. Nice condition, there were a couple spots that were a little um, like chippy, like I don't know, a little frayed right there. But other than that, it, they're pretty good. I mean, this is a great bag, nice size. The handles are really great. Lots of room inside. Okay. Super cute, and I know you guys really love the Betsy's, so I keep a lookout for them. And we're going to do $45. Let's put you over here. Then we have, okay, so this one, I had to do a little bit of rehab on. So there was a boo-boo on it. Um, this, I did not buy this one. Um, someone else bought it. Uh, they didn't notice there was a rip. I tried to do my best to sew it. So don't make fun of me when you see the work. <laughs> Here is, it's Marciano. So Marciano is made by Guess. And it is leather. It's like that pretty beige with the black. And you have your Marciano. There's a little bit of wear on the tip and a little bit. Actually, no, these ones are okay. So it's just this one. Then the back. All right, you have a couple little spots on the back, but it's the leather. And there's your bottom. The corners are pretty nice. Everything for the most part is, you know, decent on this bag. You have your Marciano tag. Okay, so now there is a little pen mark there. And let's show the interior with my mountain of uh, paper behind me. <laughs> eh. So there's the interior. 
slip. Now here's the boo-boo up here. So I did sew that. It's best of my abilities from home economics in high school, <laughs> middle school, middle school. Um, all right, Marciano with the zipper and there is a, you just have to put a little keychain there. But these bags can go for a pretty good amount. It is beautiful nonetheless. You can put a um, shoulder strap on it. I can probably get you one if you want. It, um, you know, I'll have to order it. But just let me know. I'll probably tack on like 12 bucks to the price. Um, but as is, $40. And it's quite large. Okay. Then we have a Bagley Mishka. This brand is quite expensive if you've ever seen them in stores, even online. So this is a black patent leather. I love the handles, so cute. Pretty nice size. Also, if you guys ever need measurements, feel free to email me. I will be very happy to uh, measure a purse for you. Um, I would much rather measure it so you know exactly the sizing so you don't get it and then you're unhappy with it. So feel free to do that. I have had people do that and it's not a problem. There's your plate, there's a little bit of scratching. The back, everything is super nice on this one, I love it. Okay, really nice, handles are really nice. You have these little buckle details here. It is a magnet closure. And then your eh, interior is black with your zip and plate and slips over there. So nice little um, tote buckety type of shoulder bag and we're gonna do $45. All right, so the rest of the purses are a little bit out of my reach so let me um, pause you guys and move them all up next to me and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, next up is a Oriani. So I did have a purse by this brand in last week's video and I found another one this brand is very expensive. It um, is a shoulder bag or crossbody. You can adjust it. It is beautiful purple leather. Okay, so pretty. These, this is a pocket, zipper pocket. The bottom has a black mark. Where was it? Right here that I don't know what it is and it won't come out. But other than that, the bag is beautiful. It is a, now the closure is really cool. Check it out. And you're gonna slip it in and it hooks. And then pull up and it opens. And you have the drawstring to close it even more if you would like. And then the interior is the signature Oriani interior. There's two zipper compartments there. Okay, let me see if I can pull out the leather plaque. Okay, and then the other side has the slip. It is slightly dirty down all the way in the bottom. I did like clean it out with a um, Lysol wipe. So just letting you guys know and let's this one's so cute. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna do $40. Alrighty, next up we have an Emma Fox. This also is a brand that can be very expensive. Um, it has a leather and gold tone chain crossbody strap. And look how cute it is. That's the Fox for Emma Fox. It is white and black leather. The turn lock does have a little bit of wear, but the rest of the or the rest of the bag looks really nice. Um, there's a pocket in the back, and then your turn lock. Open it up. You have a pocket in the front here, and then you have your main compartment here. Emma Fox, and a slip. Super cute. Let's do the phone test. Yes, 
bone test. My pop socket always gets stuck. Here we go. Fits. So we are going to do 30 on this one. Let's pop that, that back in there and close it. And there was just a little bit of like wear up here because it's, you know, it's used. But um, $30 on the Emma Fox. Next we have a Mark Fisher. This one's cool. Mark Fisher, it is faux leather. It is snake print. Super cute, there's your Mark Fisher. You have the hang tag here as well. This is a pocket. Okay. It is like a fabric material. You have the bottom. Everything's really nice on this bag. Really great condition. You can pull the sides to cinch the purse in more. Uh, you even have the Mark Fisher on the handles here. And then you're gonna open it with the snap closure. And there's your interior. Alrighty, so this one is a larger purse and we're going to do 40 bucks. I didn't grab the mystery box when I went, when I paused the video, I'll have to do that again. Anywho, let's do the black fossil. So this is um, a crossbody or shoulder strap. I have found one similar to this before and you guys really like these because they have a lot of different pockets and stuff um, for all your needs. So you have a little pouch pocket in the back. You have this in the front. You have a zipper in the front with a little pocket inside there. Then your main compartment opens up like a little filing cabinet and you have another zipper compartment and slips and all those card slots. Um, the condition on this is beautiful. I conditioned it. Um, it is in really nice shape. Like I said, a lot of different compartments. So this one, crossbody or shoulder, and we're going to do 35. Then we have the sack. This is like a little wallet crossbody. You can remove the straps so it can be just a wallet if you would like. It is black leather. You can have it as a wristlet. This is also removable. Really nice condition on the corners. You have a spot here in the front, which is a little pouch. I wonder if the phone can fit in there. Oh, look, it can. Look at that. And it snaps. Look at that. Love it. Okay, so then this part is your wallet section. Zipper in the middle. Super nice condition on this one, guys. And it fits a ginormo phone like mine. Awesome. So this one, we're going to do $25. Okay, next we have the Whiting and Davis. This is a black mesh, metal mesh, with the chain and leather <clears throat> crossbody or shoulder strap. Cute little size. It has the leather on the um, sides. Everything, I don't, I didn't see any missing or like you know, broken mesh pieces. You're gonna open it up. I don't really know what this is for, but there's your interior. Whiting and Davis. Alrighty, and this one we're doing $35. Then we have a Ralph Lauren 
This is faux leather. It is a little bucket bag. You have the handle here that you can use on the shoulder, or you have this longer crossbody or longer shoulder strap. You have the RLL. This one's super pretty. This is definitely an all year color. Red is such a good color. Goes with almost anything. And you do have a drawstring in the front here to pull it closed more. And then you have the snap. And the interior, this bag is in such good condition. Not sure if anyone even carried it. Probably, because I do see a little bit of fuzzies down there. There's your Ralph Lauren with the zipper. And gorgeous bag. You have the top handle or the shoulder strap, and it's going to be $40. Next up we have <laughs> I put myself out of order by putting the purses up here. I have another Juicy Couture. Like I said, you guys, it's coming back. It's not coming. It is back. So check this one out. It's your signature velour beige. All the rhinestones are there. I did wash this bag carefully. It was a little dingy when I bought it, but I was like, I think I can fix this one up. So it is washed and sanitized. And so the um, bows on the side <laughs> are a little bit wrinkled. So um, maybe just a little ironing. If you guys want to know another fun fact about me, I don't own an iron. I haven't ironed anything since I lived at home. Um, I use Downy Wrinkle Releaser. It's a spray and it's been working fine. But the, this I think needs a little bit of ironing. But it's all cleaned, everything. I mean, this thing was, you should have seen it. I should have took before and after pictures. Anyway, you have a little pocket on the side there. Same with this side. The bows just need a little bit of, you know, ironing. You have this uh, shoulder strap that is adjustable and removable. And then you have the top handles. Zipper closure. And your interior. And there's a zipper pocket there. And a slip there. Super cute, another bag you can carry spring, summer, fall. I mean, hey, why not the winter too? Um, and we're gonna do $30. Then we have, this one's so cute. Okay, so I've been, as I knock everything off the couch, I've been really liking Tianello lately. And when I found this one, I thought it was awesome. I think it's vintage and check it out. It's got the shoulder strap. You can obviously adjust to make it longer, maybe even possibly a crossbody. It is leather and it's buttery soft, okay? You have these two pockets on the front that are functioning. I'll snap that back in a second. Then you have the zipper pocket in the back. Beautiful condition. Okay. You have the gorgeous tassel. I love it. Look at how nice it is. All right. And it does not say Tianello on it. Um, you have the zipper pull that does. And inside you have two compartments. You have the first compartment here that snaps. And it has your Tianello with the zipper. And then the other side is a zipper, zipper closure, and that's where the tassel is. And, oops, there's a fuzzy down there. There it is. Nothing inside the zipper compartment, but super cute, nice little vintage, butter soft Tianello, and we're going to do $35. Put you over there. Then we have the Vince Camuto Tote. It is brand spanking new Ugh, and it is huge. Look at this thing, I could probably fit inside of it. So it's brand new, it's not real leather. So you have the straps right here 
They are longer. They're just all tied up. Okay. It is a beautiful bright orange. <laughs> this is going to have to be folded in order to mail it because this is definitely over the dimensions and it'll be super expensive. But there's the Vince Camuto, so it'll be, it'll come folded. You have your little hang tag and then your interior. Okay. <clears throat> Again, nice for a beach or travel or, you know, diaper bag, gym, whatever you would like, and we're going to do $25. Next up, look at that, we're turning the page again. Next up we have a purse that I think was handmade. So it is a crossbody, but you can adjust it to, to be a shoulder bag. Shoulder bag, look at it. How stinking cute is this? And it looks like it's it was from someplace called the Farm Stand Mercantile Cafe and Bakery because on the back it says crazy heifer fringe, small, and then somebody crossed out $40. So this is real calf, uh, calf hair, and the back has their logo that says crazy heifers. That's cute. <laughs> so you got the cheetah print cow hair, calf hair, the fringe suede, more calf hair here, and then your interior has a little pocket, zipper pocket. Oh, and a slip on the other side. But again, it's very small. There's no way my phone is getting in there. So make sure if you need measurements, let me know. Super cute, I couldn't leave it there. And it is going to be $30. Super cute, $30. Then we have a really cool beaded purse with tassels. It does have a chain handle that can be removed. And it has this handle too. It's the same on both sides. It is in very, very good condition. You have the little kiss lock on the top. And then your interior, you have a little, not that you can see it, but there's a little slip pocket in there. This one, it fits, but it won't close, so. Another, another small one, if you need dimensions, let me know. Super de duper cute. And we're doing $25. Next we have a, another Juicy Couture. This is a wristlet, and this one is leather. A lot of Juicy Couture is um, faux leather, but sometimes you will get real leather, and this is real leather and it is in very good condition. There's even rhinestones on the Juicy. Okay, little strap, and you open it up and you've got some card slots. Okay, super nice, super cute, and we're gonna do 20 bucks. Then we have this. This is a brand I've never heard of, Oh, wow, matches my shirt. It is called Von Holzenhausen, okay? And if you look up this brand, it is super de duper expensive. This is genuine leather, and it's just like a little travel case, makeup pouch, you know, whatever you want to use it for, toiletries. It's in like new condition. You have the little pocket there, and then you zip it open and you have all the pockets <clears throat> along the sides to put like your toothbrush in, your toothpaste, maybe some, you know, creams and stuff like that, hair little the little travel size hairsprays and deodorant and whatnot. So this one's really cute, genuine leather, Van Holzenhausen, $30. I like saying that. Holzenhausen. <laughs> 
Okay, next up we have a suede pouch. This one does not have any, um, <clears throat> excuse me, does not have any maker on it. There's not even a tag. It is a little bit, it's got a couple little marks. But again, this is so cute. I couldn't leave it there. Someone can use it for something. Even if you just throw like some maybe emergency things in it, like tampons and leave it in your car or something, you know, I, I figured it's, it's def definitely genuine leather and it's so cute. There's your interior. There's no marks or tags at all. And we're going to do $15 on it. Okay. Could even use it as a little clutch. Let's put you over here. Then we have a, where is it? Where are you? Where did you go? Where did it go? Duh, it's right here. Ay, 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 Kristen. Okay, so this is another little pouch. This is genuine leather. I think maybe it was supposed to have a strap, but I don't have one. So we're just selling it as a little pouch, a little makeup pouch. It's free people. And it opens up here, okay, with some card slots. And then you have the zipper. There's your little free people tag and your interior. Just something cute. And we're gonna do 15 on it as well. Okay, you can even find a strap if you wanna wear it as a fanny pack too, a little belt bag. Next, we have a coach pouch, a little coach. Leather um, cheetah print with the uh, hang tag, couldn't think of the word. Super nice condition. This looks like it might have been cut though. Other than that, we good. Inside has some card slots. Super cute, I love this print. Super cute, love the print, 20 bucks. Then we have this vintage pouch. This is really cute. This is, um, I think it said handmade in Japan. Yep, handmade in Japan, like a little needle point sewn thing. Very cute, very nice condition. Even on the kiss lock, there's no like, um, wear or uh, gold tone loss and the inside is really nice as well handmade in japan and we're going to do 14 on it okay guys so the last bag that i have if you guys remember last week i talked about that i found a fendi fit a fanny pack belt bag however you want to call it but i was unsure if it was authentic I do personally think it's authentic, but I flipped it inside out. I looked everywhere for a serial number. I couldn't find one. Um, I know with the more vintage items, um, it can rub off because it's just like printed on there. It's not actually like in the leather. So um, I own two Fendi items um, and I it matches the Fendi items I have. So I would say that this is real, but I will, um, the price will reflect that I am not guaranteeing that it's real, but I personally do think it is. So anywho, here it is. Okay, it's got the strap and it's the one that you weave in, in and out it, in through it. There is a little bit of wear to the, um, striping but see it says Fendi in the striping um, this matches you know the one I have on my purse the um, Fendi pulls pull matches there's the back there's a couple little marks on the back too okay um, super cute so the inside it's all leather okay 
and the inside of mine is leather just like this and then so the other side of the zipper also has the double F which is exactly like on mine so I do think that this is authentic I really like it I don't mind keeping it the um, strap measures it's 40 inches total but you're gonna need a couple inches to weave it through the buckle so I would say 40 inches would be ideal around the waist um, so 40 inches on this one max um, it's so cute so if no let me see if my phone fits Oh, it does. Crap. All right. I'm going to do $75 on it. But if nobody buys it, it'll be mine. I'll add it to my uh, collections. <laughs> I love my Fendi bags. Okay. So $75, 40 inches max. Because um, you're going to need a couple inches to weave it through the buckle. Okay, so there we go. Um, all right, so that concludes the purse sale. Let's open up the unboxing. Now, uh, this is from WornNotWasted.com, um, which is Goodwill, okay? They own Worn Not Wasted. Um, Goodwill Blue Box does not seem to be doing their mystery purses on GoodwillBlueBox.com. They are doing them over on Worn Not Wasted. So if you go over to WornNotWasted.com and go under mystery boxes and then purses, you will see it. There's only one, um, but they're available all the time. You don't have to wait for Fridays to do the Goodwill blue box. So that's a good thing about it. And this one I think is six. No, wait, that's America's Thrift. This I think is supposed to be just one or two. Okay. All right, I do think I see two. Let me find the invoice. Oh, it says I have three, okay. So it is um, $19.99 and sometimes they do free shipping. So this one was free shipping. So with the taxes and everything else, it came to $29.09, sorry, $29.02. Um, and it says I have three in here, so let's see. This I thought was Louis Vuitton for a second and I almost died. Did you hear my, <coughs> excuse me, did you hear my extreme pause when I opened the box? Okay. This is cute. So this is, I guess, a little lunch box. It says PETA approved vegan. There's no brand on it. Talk about a bougie lunch box. Or it could be a purse. I don't see a strap. Let's look inside. Nope. So there's no strap inside. And there's no brand anywhere. But pretty nice. And I think this is pretty cool. But again, you can buy straps online. I buy them from Amazon. What happened here? There we go. I buy them from Amazon um, and they're not too expensive, but this one, I don't know much about it, but it's pretty new, I think. 20 bucks. <coughs> Excuse me, I have such a tickle in my throat today. Next one is a Ann Klein. Ooh, matches my shirt again. This is a faux leather, it's a little wristlet. It looks in really nice condition. Get my arm out of the box. Um, yeah, so it's like a little wallet. <clears throat> a little wallet wristlet. Really nice condition. Does the phone fit? Phone fits, but Zipping it is a little tight, so I don't know if I would recommend that. <coughs> <clears throat> so
so this one, let's do 15. Next I saw, we got a coach. Oh, here's the strap. Yay! So it does have the strap to it. All right, so 20 bucks. Watch, that was the back. So I did get a coach, yay. So all this for 29 bucks, sweet. Here is the coach. This is cute, 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 cute. <clears throat> it has the yellow. It's a little dirty, it could use a little cleanup, but the corners have very minimal wear. Handle looks nice. <clears throat> Zipper closure. <coughs> Jeez Louise, I'm sorry guys. All right, there's your Creed and your zipper and slips. Nice, nice interior. Love this. Love it, love it. It's a little fuzzy on it. Really cute. I like this one, guys. So let's do um, 45 on it. Sweet. All right, that concludes today's video. What'd you guys think? Let me know what you thought of the worn, not wasted um mystery purse box has have any of you guys tried it let me know your thoughts give me a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching make sure you are subscribed and we will see you in the next one